Hello, welcome back to a new video about New World. So I wanted to talk about the end game in New World and why it's absolutely rubbish. I hit level 60 a couple weeks ago and upon hitting level 60, I felt kind of lost. I didn't know what to do next. I actually even considered giving up on playing the game for a bit because I kind of lost interest in the game after hitting max level. But I couldn't really find another game that I really wanted to play. So I came back to New World and I started to think, what should I do now? First, I started off just grinding my trade skills, trying to get materials and iron ore and crafting it, smelting it into iron ingots and setting that on the marketplace to try and make some gold. And then I accidentally stumbled across what everyone else was doing at level 60 for the end game in New World. And I've been doing most of these things now repetitively every day and come to the conclusion that it's pretty boring. So basically everyone gathers in the northern territories of the map in the snowy area where all the corrupted stuff is and there's a couple well basically just two things that everyone does repeatedly over and over again if you go to the western outpost in the northern territory then you'll see like a mob of people gathering because they're uh, getting ready to go on a chest run or a portal run those are basically your only two options for end game in new world portal run or elite chest run and there's all these elite zones in the Northern Territories where all these elite chests are and you'll just form a big mob of people and then you'll just zerg rush the elite zones trying to get the elite chests. And at first it was kind of funny because there's so many people and it's so chaotic, but after a while it does get very tedious and the loot you get from these elite chests are not very good either. Everyone just runs through like a massive horde, like a massive swarm of locusts through the elite zones, trying not to pull aggro, trying not to get hit by the mobs that are chasing everyone, trying to loot the chests and then jump over obstacles to get to the next level, to get to the next area. And it's just like a frantic rush. It kind of reminds me of that scene in Jurassic Park Lost World when they're all running through the long grass and they're getting picked off one by one by the velociraptors and no one's like stopping to, to fight off the velociraptors or just running forwards ahead like headless chickens. That's kind of what it's like. And then the other activity that everyone else does after looting these elite chests, they go on a portal run. So you get these corrupted portals that spring up on the map and they just spawn these corrupted monsters and if you defeat them all and then destroy the portal you'll get gold and a chest and then basically everyone just forms a massive mob and they bum rush the portals and they go from one portal to the next portal to the next portal until all of the corrupted portals have been destroyed and then they respawn and then everyone just does the same thing again over and over again it's like the whole thing is just massive zerg rush. Now, in a way, I kind of like this system because it's all done outside in the open world. So anyone can just join in and tag along. It's not in a dungeon or an instance, instanced area. Like um, in World of Warcraft, most of the end game were raids. And in order to be able to participate in a raid, you had to be part of a raiding guild. And that was kind of difficult to join a raiding guild because they had all these requirements and they'd usually be full and it would be rare for them to have open spots that you could join. And then even if you joined a raiding spot, even if you joined a raiding party in World of Warcraft, you had to build up DKP points in order to even have a chance of looting, getting any of the loot. So if you were just a casual player who didn't really have the patience or the, the time to dedicate towards joining one of these professional raiding guilds, it was very hard to, to get access to the end game raiding content in World of Warcraft. So in a way, I kind of like how in New World, you don't really have to do any of this because you can just join one of these massive mobs of people's swarming swarming areas and just join in tag along you don't need to be part of a guild you don't have to even be invited to a party so yeah it's quite nice you can just log in whenever you want to and there's usually always some kind of big party heading towards one of the elite chest zones or doing a portal rush and you just tag along with them you get some loot get a load of gold now the amount of gold you get from doing this is pretty good and i've completely given up on farming materials and doing mining and trying to craft stuff to sell on the marketplace because it's just way easier and way less effort to just do a portal rush and make loads of gold and get loads of epics and items and chests. And the third activity you'll find yourself doing when you're level 60 is outpost rush, which is basically just the copy and paste of World of Warcraft's Arathi Basin with a little bit of Alterac Valley sprinkled in. So you've got five points you've got to capture and control. There's also 
PVE NPC mobs and resources you got to farm in order to build defenses and there's also little mini bosses in the on the map as well and it just works the same as Arathi Basin did you need to get to a thousand points first to win and you get points by controlling one of the the bases or more bases than the opponents and yeah it's okay as as an entry level pvp battleground i wish i hope they add more in the future but outpost rush does get a bit boring as well after a while i just didn't really feel much incentive to to do outpost rush apart from only doing it because there's nothing else to do. There's not really any good rewards you get from doing outpost rush. I've maxed out my faction my faction reputation. I've got like 60,000 faction points and there's nothing I want to buy because all the gear, even the best gear you can buy from the faction person is worse than the current gear I have, which was just looted off of random chests and mobs and buying stuff off the auction house. So I got no motivation to even care about any of the rewards you get from Outpost Rush or the Elite Chest runs, and it's kind of made the game a bit boring. So I don't know what to, don't know what to aim for. And then there's two other activities that I haven't really tried yet because it's kind of difficult to participate in. Number one are the wars. So you have wars between different companies, different guilds, who are trying to fight and gain control over territories and the towns. But the problem is, even if you sign up to join the war, you can only join if the company in charge of the war invites you and they're not going to invite some random stranger they're only going to invite their friends or other members of the guild and it's very unlikely you'll get invited as some nobody so i've never actually tried one of the wars which is a bit sad and then there's a couple end game dungeons called lazarus and genesis which i haven't tried yet because the only people looking for members to join lazarus or genesis seem to be these scammers and they want to use your key, your orb, and there's always people warning people not to join these groups because they're just scamming you and you won't get good items. So I haven't really tried one of these groups because I don't want to get scammed. And no people are trying to make a group to do it, do it as like a, a normal party. You always see in the recruitment channel the same kind of message saying, looking for one member, your orb with experienced group who have done Lazarus 1000 times, quick run with experienced players, and it just instantly screams scam, and I've never wanted to join one of these groups. It just seems like they would invite you to use your key, and then as soon as the run is over, they'll just kick you and then look for someone else for a new key. Because they've got this stupid key system in the game where you need an orb to enter the dungeon. You only get one orb, in the beginning from the initial quest and then afterwards you need to be able to create an orb and it's very difficult to create an orb you need like level 200 stone cutting draw crafting skills and then the materials required to create the orb are kind of rare and kind of difficult to farm it takes a very long time to farm get enough materials to create the orb so it's kind of like these experienced players are too lazy to create their own orbs and they're just trying to trick the newly level 60 the people who have newly reached recently reached level 60 and have only just gotten their first orb they're trying to trick them into joining the group so they can use that orb and get get an easy run into one of the dungeons i haven't tried any of the end game dungeons which is kind of sad i would like to try it at least once maybe but it's just difficult to find a group that's not trying to scam you so yeah the end game in new world is a bit disappointing i don't really feel motivated anymore to get good gear i don't really care about getting good gear because you could run around naked and do this these end game activities it really doesn't matter when there's like a mob of a hundred people your gear score and you having full epics or not it doesn't make any difference so yeah the whole idea of an MMO is that you're trying to grind and grind and get better gear and become more powerful. But when the game itself doesn't motivate you or incentivize you to have really good gear, then you start to not care anymore. And then it just becomes kind of boring. I only log in, do one of these portal rushes or elite chess rushes, just because it is a bit entertaining just messing around with all the people. And it's something to do to kill time, I guess.